What's going on, everybody? Today's video, we're going to have a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. So, I've been thinking about this. I've been always talking about it for like two years now. And it just always comes a topic uh, when I set up at shows or go around to shows. I'm like, what is the most overused word in a sports card hobby that you hear at a show or now really anywhere? All the time, it's kind of like that little dirty word out there, okay? I have one. It's the word comp. I hate hearing it because there's nothing out there that is 100% accurate across the board. You go look at some of the uh, little apps and stuff out there, and I know people have done videos on them in the past, like Market Movers or Card Ladder, Alt. When you go look it up the so-called comp, I like using the word value, of the card, and you go down and like, oh, it's, you know, $283. That's what I want for it. But when you scroll down in there, and you look at what they're using to base that off of, there's cards in that doesn't belong there. Or it's just a bad listing it was never paid for. And then you'll go to all three different sites to see different pieces across the board on all together on to whether it was on Golden, PWCC, Alt, eBay... Nobody catches all the sales out there on this stuff for values, but the most, my most common used word I hear is comp or comps out there. So what do you guys hear? That's just one piece I'd like to see in the comments section. What's the one word that you hear most commonly used out there? It could, you know, be like your pet peeve, the most disrespectful word out there in the, you know, sports card hobby. The second piece is the phrase. Now, I know this is going to vary between buyers, sellers, collectors, everybody out there out with it. So when you guys do the comment, you know, your little most used word in the hobby, whether you like it or not. And then same thing with the phrase, whether you like it or not, too. Mine that I completely despise is I can have all my stuff priced and you'll get that. 14 to 22 year old come up and go, what's the lowest you'll take for it? Or what do you really want for it? Now, I know that's two different things, but in the end, it's what they're trying to do. They're not even trying to negotiate. There's no opening conversation. Like, hey, man, what's going on? Having a good show? Okay. Hey, can I see this card? They look at it. Don't even throw an offer out. Nothing like that. But now it's just they come out and point. What's the lowest you'll go on? It? What will you take on it? Really? <laughs> Those are probably my two most common things that I hear, whether I'm going from table to table, whether I'm watching a YouTube video from some of the great YouTubers out there, they do it all the time, to being a buyer at shows, whatever it may be, I always hear it. Uh, what's the comp on it? What's the comp on it? Or what's the lowest you'll take? Or what will you really, really take on it? Something in those types of words there. Mostly it's what's the lowest you'll take on it. Not even wanting to pass it up. Guys wanting to find stuff. They're like, oh, that's the coolest card ever. You hardly ever see one pop up. They'll still offer you 70% because they want to hurry up and get and be a flipper. Uh, that's kind of another word there, too. But it's not as big as the comp piece out there. But I figured we'd have a little fun going towards the end of the year. I'd like to see what everybody else comes up here with. You know, what you hear most commonly out there. Is it, you know, for a word? And whether you like it or not, some people might, you know, have something. They're like, this is a really cool word. And the same thing with the phrase out there. I know both of mine are kind of negative and stuff like that there. But it's commonly what sticks in my mind the most from, like I said, going to shows or selling online, getting those little messages on eBay, Instagram, and all that stuff. It's always comp. And in some form or fashion, what's the lowest you'll take on the card? No opening, no icebreaker, nothing. Straight to the point. What's the lowest you'll take on it? But all right, guys. Kind of curious to see what everybody else has out there. I said I want to have a little fun with the video towards the end of the year. Um, be respectful to the comments, too, because some people, you know, you might see it and be like, oh, man, that's a stupid thing or whatever. Don't don't tell somebody that because that's just they're expressing their free speech or whatever you want to call it out there onto it because it might be popular in the area they're in versus the area you're in. I can only speak from like the, I guess you could say kind of like the Middle East. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say it. I kind of like should be flagging probably the video. The Middle 
of the eastern United States or the east coast up into like the northeastern part for who knows shows. And that's commonly what I hear even from, you know, like I said, guys flying around to different shows and traveling and stuff like that. All right, guys, I am out. Take care. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys next video.